Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ned Quartermain, Wally Kurth, Left Valentin Cassidine, James Patrick Stewart, A Furious Voicemail Before Whining to Brooklyn Quartermain, Amanda Seton, About Eel Q's Stock Dropping, According to General Hospital, GH. Spoilers recap. People didn't like the concept of an extortionist leading the business after hearing about Valentin's hoax death plan. Since Anna Devane, Finola Hughes, almost died, Brooke Lynn defended Valentin, but Ned pretended that Anna was in good hands now and that ELQ needed to take precedence. Ned had suggested working with Cameron Matheson's Drew Kane and Chad Duell's Michael Corinto's to overthrow Valentin but Brooke Lynn cautioned against blindsiding him while his life was in such disarray. Brooke Lynn claimed that Valentin was still a Cassidine and not someone you wanted as an enemy, despite Ned's claim that it was merely business. Carly Spencer, Laura Wright, and Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watros, quarreled at Windermere, and Carly is thought to have advised Michael not to invite Nina to the wedding. Carly referred to Nina as insane and expressed shock that Michael had invited Sonny Corinto's, Morris Bernard. Carly pretended that Sonny was now prioritizing his family, which prompted Nina to complain that Carly was to blame for her failure to win Willow Tate's, Catelyn McMullen, forgiveness. Nina contended that Liesel Obrecht, Kathleen Gaddy, could have been found as a bone marrow match earlier and Willow's horror would have already been over if Carly hadn't kept the DNA results a secret. Carly advised Nina to blame herself if she wanted to ease the tension, but Nina was determined that Carly was to blame for Willow's short lifespan. Angry at Carly's earlier remarks and calling her a sanctimonious bitch, Nina stomped off to her car. It may be time for Carly to deal with her own consequences, Nina intimated as she flashed back to her awareness of the insider trading controversy. At GH, Portia Robinson, Brooke Kerr, and Ava Jerome, Mora West, ran into each other. Portia blamed Spencer Cassidine, Nicholas Chavez, for the danger Trina Robinson, Tabian Ali, was in. Portia promised to make sure Trina never saw Spencer again if she lived. Ava believed that if Portia wanted to maintain her relationship with her daughter Trina, she would have to recognize Trina's love for Spencer. Portia was concerned that it might already be too late. But Ava was sure Trina would get through this trauma and mend fences with her mother. As Trina contacted them from the ship, Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, updated Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson. But he required Drew's assistance to locate the bunker Victor Cassidy, Charles Shaughnessy, was going to. Drew had significant memory gaps from Operation Dimeter, despite the fact that he knew this had something to do with it. Drew tried so hard to recall but he just couldn't. Curtis couldn't believe there wasn't someone who could explain what Operation Demeter is until Portia entered the conversation. After giving it some thought, Drew concluded that perhaps there was someone out there who could. Carly informed Ava that Nina had been there when she arrived back in Windermere. Carly made it clear that Ava should keep any future counsel she felt obligated to give her to herself. Victor announced Trina's arrival on the Haunted Star and pointed out that she was a stowaway saboteur. Trina was obviously intelligent, so Victor said that she might be able to advise him on what to do with her. Before throwing up his hands at the sight of a gun, Spencer Cassidine, Nicholas Chavez, warned Victor to leave Trina alone and nearly attacked a security guard. Regarding Liesel Obrecht, Kathleen Gaddy, she spoke with Victor about the characteristics of the virus and had already developed a number of protocols that might be useful for the vaccination. Liesel can handle the challenge, Victor remarked with a smile. Victor offered Spencer one final opportunity to help him in his goal to bring the population down to more manageable levels on the deck of the ship. Victor argued that Spencer shouldn't deceive himself and reminded him that he was a Cassidine when Spencer refused. Victor believed that Spencer was far too intelligent to sacrifice his heritage for a lovely face, notwithstanding Trina's outburst, that he was nothing like Victor. 
Trina was considered to be much more by Spencer, who also made it apparent that he would never support Victor. Victor ordered Trina to be thrown overboard after claiming that Spencer had broken his heart. Victor was stopped by Spencer, who promised to do anything he pleased as long as Trina stayed safe. Spencer was also ordered to be cast overboard by Victor, who didn't understand Since why Trina he should and Spencer the could potentially be used as test subjects for the vaccination. Liesel spoke out to stop Victor. Victor appeared happy because Obrecht mentioned that this task made her feel anything for the first time after losing Britt Westbourne, Kelly Thebaud. Spencer and Trina, on the other hand, snuggled together and prayed they could read Liesel's mind. Prior to being used as test subjects, Trina and Spencer hoped to discover anything out. Victor intended to get rid of Spencer and Trina once he no longer needed them. Obrecht then requested food and water for Trinan and Spencer since she required healthy lab rats. Victor claimed that despite the delay, they would reach the bunker by sunrise and that Liesel could begin her task. Stay tuned as Spencer and Trina continue to look for a way out of this pickle, according to General Hospital spoilers. Trina Robinson is not the first nice lady put in a risky scenario because of her love interest, and she won't be the last according to GA spoilers. She may be the most sensible teenager in Port Charles, apart from Cameron Weber, that is. But as soon as Trina comes near Spencer Cassidine, all of that appears to go out the window. Trina may now find herself in the devils, Spencer's paternal grandfather Victor. Crosshairs. Sybil the psychic hopes to find out. I intend to foretell Trina's future by looking into the crystal ball, dealing the cards, and interpreting the tea leaves. Since it's not an exact science and I'm not particularly competent, I can't make any guarantees. Let's jump into the unknown, all right? Trina Robinson has been sucked into a dangerous riptide as a result of her growing attraction to the young Cassidine heir, Nicholas Alexander Chavez. According to the Crystal Ball, she stowed away after pursuing Spencer to the haunted star only to find herself in the heart of a dangerous hostage situation. Charles Shaughnessy's Victor Cassidine is prepared to wipe out the majority of humanity, especially if they stand in his way. Trennan is taking a major risk, but danger is close by, according to the crystal ball. Will real love win out? See what the cards have to say, shall we? Trina drew the devil card, which suggests that taking the wrong path can result in being trapped or worse. It's not good that. While it does not portend catastrophe, it does shout to be cautious. Her growth is being impeded by negative factors. Whether the decision is favorable or unfavorable, she will experience a permanent change in her life as a result. Can she overcome any fears that stand in the way of her overcoming the challenges? Trina is a resilient young lady. She is a natural at loyalty. And she truly gives her heart when she is in love. The card issues a relationship health alert. Is Spencer the problem? his relatives. Trina herself, perhaps. Does she possess the necessary skills to compete with the legendary bad guy of Port Charles? Personally, Sybil the psychic and I are 100% behind her. I have a soft spot for underdogs. The card suggests that Trina may need to look within herself for the courage. Maintain a laser-like focus on surviving. Do not let delusions or personal issues distract you. Avoid acting on whims. Be honest with yourself while thinking like your foe. Above all, always be prepared for anything. The devil card is concerning, but Trina won't succumb to her dread. She needs to summon all of her strength in order to defeat the biggest villain of them all. Regardless of what comes next, it will change or affect your life. In the future of Trina Robinson, I, Sybil the Psychic, notice triangles while interpreting these tea leaves which pretends an unexpectedly successful outcome. Maybe Trina will get some help from a surprise source that will just in time change the course of events. The girl might be more resilient than she ever thought.